Hey guys, it's Ed with CMC Reptiles. I wanted to show you one of these hatchlings that I've been kind of working with. This is one of the uh, hatchlings that came out of the pairing of the Coral Glow Hidden Gene Woma to the Black Pastel Pewter Ghost. So here we got a Black Pastel Pewter Coral Glow. Um, I mean, it's almost... It's got the craziest color, as you can see. Busy pattern, but you can see it's got a little bit of a duck bill. <laughs> Almost kind of like a little pig nose. Um, you kind of see that nose up close right there. Uh, yeah, it's this thing is it's about one eye. There's no eye on the other side. And I, I almost, yep, it could see out of one eye. Um, I've already had to assist feed it twice it does have a little bit of a tongue a tongue response not um not too much of where well, the tongue doesn't flicker out completely like it should because you know it has a little bit of a cliff lip kind of a cliff mouth a little bit of a split right there but just that just that weird little deformity and I actually, you know, I have another, I've, I've kind of showed you the silver bullet, but the issues I've had with the silver bullet, that was another one with kinking issues. This one basically just had the little bit of deformity on the mouth. Um, otherwise, again, this should be a completely, I would think, healthy snake. Besides that, I don't know, but so far it seems to be doing okay. I'm just hoping eventually it starts eating on its own. Um, I'm only feeding it uh, mice uh, mice fuzzies, small fuzzies, just to get small meals in it in the beginning. Um, I had to do the same thing with the banana that I had. But, you know, I, had a, a, I have a silver bullet that's kind of similar. I'll show that one. I'll actually even feed this one. But this one had issues, kinking issues, corkscrew issues, but this one's thriving big time. In fact, I can actually feed this one right now because it's just, it's that good of an eater where, you know, it, it can, as you can see, it eats frozen thaw just fine. Um... And I actually had to assist feed this one just the first couple of times. But you could kind of see the difference. Uh, that silver streak was the same size as this guy right here. Um, and they, you know, you work with them. They definitely, you know, they can make it. And you can tell the ones that won't. I haven't had any issues yet. Uh, I have a, a banana fire from last year too. It is you know blind, um, but that that one also is eating on its own. It doesn't eat a lot, and it should be bigger than it is, but it's still healthy and doing pretty great. Again, you, you know you get these little issues sometimes with uh, incubating. You don't know if it's an incubating issue, but here's the banana banana fire right here from last year again this is a really just a cool snake and I mean this one is almost likes it actually likes to be handled <laughs> but it's it's eating on its own it should be a lot bigger because that snakes almost it's 11 months old it's almost a year but because of its feeding issues you know it's taking food on its own, but it only eats like once every two to three weeks. But again, it's completely fine. Besides that, that and it has a little bitty, a little bit of a an open umbilical that never closed. Um, I mean, it's 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 got kind of a scar tissue over it, but the weirdest thing, it stayed. It stayed open on this one. But again, it was one I didn't ever thought it would make it.
but I don't mind working with these type of snakes at all. I don't mind assist feeding. It's kind of educational for me. Um, and it's kind of a good little educational showpiece when you are, you know, going to schools and stuff to kind of educate people on what can go wrong in the incubation period. Um, you know, whether it was my fault, uh, but I don't think so because, again, this right here was a 9A clutch, and that's the only issue I had was with that one. Again, with this one, 9A clutch. I had one guy that just had, you know, an issue, and I guess, you know, that does happen. And, uh, but again, it's a, it's a healthy, healthy snake, either way. All right, guys, I just wanted to share that with you, and I will talk to you later.